Yeah, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV here at Wild Wind Beach Club and Resort. And today we're back on the good old C2. It's probably about 16 to 18 knots of wind. Test pilot for today is this guy. Again. You might recognize him from the man overboard video, but we're gonna go out and send it like we've never sent it before with the key uh, objective, keeping the lens clean on the camera. Engaged. Okay, so here we are on the C2 but the dagger boards are going to leave half up the whole time because we're not going to be sailing upwind really we're going to be reaching at the highest okay if you just nudge the front away that way ever so slightly and jump on okay so here's Luke the operator as he's known Luke the operator Oh, just pop that dagger board down a bit so the carbon is covered. That's it, yeah, lovely. All right, and we are off. I'll just uh, pull that bad boy in. All right, do you know where your bits of string are? Okay, yeah, blue is jib sheet, red is downhaul. That's all you need on the upwind. Red is further outboard. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do it once we're out. I've got to keep my lens clean. That's operation number one. Okay, so yeah, wind the jib in now. Oh, okay, we just need a bit of rotation on. And that is enough. All right. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we need some downhaul on. So that's the red one. You see there's two red masts on the mast. Pull it down to the bottom red mark on the mast. You should be able to pull it on more. Oh, it's been released. Okay, all right, hold on. Just watching out for traffic. I think I'm, yeah, hold on, Luke. No, it's just uncleat it. It's because this has been released. Okay, very important to make sure your boat is set up correctly before you depart on such a day. How's the lens? I'm not going to touch it if it isn't too bad. Okay, well, we'll go with it. We've got auxiliary camera on the bowsprit hopefully staying clean so if camera one on the head is getting dirty we can switch to camera two because that's the clean one all right looking for the traffic everywhere some traffic giver just coming up behind us so i'm just going to bear away get out and get out of here Okay, let's get that. Let's get the downhaul on. The jib should be in already. Yeah, more downhaul. And you can come back a bit. If I'm back here, you want to be back here too. There we go. So what we're trying to do is keep our weight together pretty well. Oh yeah, this is so good. Oh. If you haven't got a C2 from Good Old Design, put it on your shopping list because this is so good. It just feels fantastic, light in the hand, breezy, quick. There we are, just taking windsurfers out as we go. Right, we're going to go up with a bit so we can go forward. The beans, 
before we're hitting the, the big breeze. Just gonna pull that up a little bit. Oh, can you just see about um, this dagger board on the other, oh no, it's all right, it's done. All right, yeah, so go for the, go for the tack line. And then once it's all up and pulling, you're just gonna go out on my trapeze right. and get to the back. I think back foot strap is gonna be definitely favorite. All right, yeah, go for the, Oh, I think the halyard is caught round the spreader on the leeward side. You can see that by the way it's going, so you're going to need to stand up. Don't hook on until the kite's up and pulling as well. Okay, it's a good job we're not racing. Don't stand on the, the track, whatever you do. Okay, now you can go for the hoist. There it goes. Make sure it is right at the top. Okay. And then the most important thing is that the kite is at no time in too tight. Because that will be detrimental to our boat speed. Okay. Make sure you don't fall in when you're going out. Okay. Yeah, so get all the way to the back. Sheet in a bit. And let's see what she wants to give us. Say when you're ready. Say when you're ready in the comments below and we'll get this bad boy going. Okay, gust coming. Just sheet in a little bit. And we should see, we'll get the telemetry on this one, so we should see the speed go up quite a lot. Okay, when the kite folds like that, just pull it in a little bit and then let it out. All right, that's because what is causing that is that we're going faster than the wind. So we're kind of overtaking the spinnaker. Okay, we're not going so well here. That's it. Okay. All right, here comes some more pace. Yeah, that's it. As soon as it starts to go at the front, just sheet in a bit more. All right, and I think we'll go for a jibe. So if you want to come in, just say when you're ready. Okay, well, ready for the jibe. All right, you set? Okay, we're going there. Okay, 
Just watch your over sheeting a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and just make sure you don't come unhooked when you're going out. Yeah, that would be awkward. Yeah, that would be awkward. Okay, and then power is coming on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's a good arm workout for Luke here on the kite. Okay, if you want to come in, we'll drop it. Okay, so when Luke comes in, I'm just sheeting out the main a little bit. Luke's going to take up the slack on the retrieval first, let go of the sheet. Once that's tight, pulling, uncleating it, making sure he's not kneeling on the halyard. When the halyard becomes tight, undoing the tack line, that's it. He likes that handle, I've seen that. And then we'll just tidy up the sheets a bit. And we're heading up, going back out onto the wire. And that is a crispy bit of wind we've got there. Hopefully, everything's seated on the other side. It looks like it is. Okay, well done. So I think as a kite operator's knee group there, I would say perhaps just a bit more active on the spinnaker sheet just to make sure the kite is... But I said, let's make sure it's not over -sheet. I should just, once the jib's cranked, yeah. grab the downhaul and just work with the downhaul. But you're going to pull it from the cleat, not from that little ring. Okay, now with the downhaul, that's it. You can feel when the downhaul goes on in the gust, rather than when we have to slow down. hole is ease the downhaul off so that we keep the power going through the hole that's it ease it off ease it off and you feel the power staying on so we're not getting dumped in the water uh, no we're still still pretty light here Oh, 
with a header. There's Luke, he's working the downhill now, he knows where he is. He's giving up on the jib sheet. Once the jib is in tight, there's nothing more you can do. On a boat like this, when it's windy upwind, we're just winding the jib in tight so it's as flat as possible. With the, um, the jib traveller car set quite far out, Downhaul and jib off completely. Yeah, there we go. That was the hammer on the C2. Top speed 21.3 on the notometer. Maybe the telemetry will tell a different story, but who can say these days? Yeah, so thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure out here in Vasiliki Bay with these champagne sailing conditions once again. Why wouldn't you? You would. Yeah. Joyride a TV.